to um, touch base with you. This is Sharonda Stewart. This is my fourth day juicing. And I must say, I have to be honest, I don't feel a whole big difference that everybody else feels, but I'm just taking baby steps to get into the juicing arena. And I have to change some things. I definitely have to change. Um, I have to change the way I eat other stuff and all that kind of good stuff as well. But a good thing is I caught up on a lot of sleep today, so I'm hoping that that adds because we know that if you don't sleep well, I'm telling you right now, a whole lot of things are not going to go well in your life. And I only eat, and I normally only sleep like four to five hours a day, of a day, so I am really sleep deficient. And today I slept like 12 hours, something I never do. But because I have I feel so refreshed and so good that I'm able to do another video today and I wanted to make sure on this New Year's Day that um, I taped it and, and I'm going to go from here. This is a good starting point, a good bench point. I do plan to do a juice fast probably by um, this weekend maybe. I want to go to um, a great place in Philadelphia called the Wholesale Produce Market and hopefully I'll be able to take my camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing as well but it's a good way to get started my husband has promised my cousin they've done this little thing where he must do like either 60 days or six months I have to check of just uh, vegetarian eating and we don't eat beans, which is, I know, horrible for some of you, but we don't eat beans. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, out there looking for a whole bunch of different recipes, so if you know anything about it, please let us know. But I'm going to get to juicing really quickly. Um, I decided to do a drink that I saw on Juicing Vegetables, um, Fit Life TV with Drew Canoli. <laughs> and I want... Um, I just want to get to do a precursor that I'm not doing exactly the same thing he's doing because I didn't have everything. But I figured if I do my version and just try, then I'm, I'm halfway there. If you're just starting with juicing like I'm just starting or you're seeing this and you're just starting juicing, don't give up hope. I know it tastes kind of weird, but I keep going and keep, keep pressing and keep pushing until you find that exact... Um, that exact recipe that's going to work for you. So, what I have here is four <laughs> wonderful four sticks, four sticks, four celery stalks. That's what you call them. I'm new, forgive me. So, four stalks of celery, an apple, ooh, um, a cucumber, and three leaves. Of kale. Now, one thing I do want to say is, let me get my knife for a second. Just joking. One thing I want to say is, for apples, I make sure I, I, I cut out the seeds of the apple because, or I core the apple because the seeds have a trace of cyanide on them, and I am very much into um, science, and I know what cyanide can do, so I don't want that. Um, and please don't do anything with the seeds. But I also, they also calls for a lemon and it calls for ginger. And for this recipe, I don't have either. But what I do have is this wonderful lemon juice that's from Concentrate. And I know, please don't kill me for that. I'm just trying. I'm going to the market this weekend. Don't kill me. Um, and ginger. I'm not really hype on ginger. Mostly because ginger has a little spice to it. I'm not very into spice and I'm trying. I have a cousin that, that tastes all kinds of foods and she's phenomenal. But I am the virgin of all virgins when it comes to eating. So all this stuff is new to me. If I can try it, you can try it and you can be successful as well. So one second, I'm going to peel the apple. I'm just going to core it. I should say not peel it, but core it. Make sure there are no seeds in my pieces. Um, and just want to make sure. See, cord it. So I'm going to throw it in the trash and we're good. So now we're going to start off and do our juicing. I'm also going to have my wonderful cucumber. 
Everything has been washed off, everything has been dried, it's been laying out, waiting for me to get ready to do this right here. So, off to juicing. I better put this knife down because I'm using it as a weapon. So, putting the knife down, but going to juice. So, I will juice it and come back with you. Mm, nah, I think I'll let you see it. So, off to juicing. juicing I had a little <laughs> a little accident it seems like I uh, put in a wonderful piece of cucumber and it spit back at me <laughs> again if you have like the Omega you have oh I don't know all the different the Breville whatever you have and you've paid a lot for it it probably won't spit back at you <laughs> but mine did and we're okay with that we are really okay with that so it just takes a little cleaning up and we're going to keep going, but this is my wonderful green, my mean green. Look at that beautiful color. You see that? You see that color? Wonderful green substance. <laughs> and now I'm going to take a drink to tell you what it tastes like. You see a lot of froth? The more expensive, if you can see the froth there, the more expensive juicers don't give that off, but we're on a budget right now. And it's better to get started with something than nothing at all. Do not let that you can only afford a $5 juicer, a $20 juicer, a $30 juicer stop you from at least trying to get your health together, start juicing, whatever it is. Don't let the little things, and that's a little thing, stop you. Because in the end, you'll get what you want, but you have to start somewhere, and you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. So, this is my fourth day of juice. And I must say, this is really not that bad. Not that bad. It's different. I taste the celery and the kale goodness and all that stuff that everybody always talks about, the goodness. The green goodness. But what I am really looking forward to is finishing out this week and, and definitely um, going to the wholesale produce market. Hopefully I can take you guys with me. If I can't, I'm sure there'll be another time. Anyway, take care. Off to juicing, day two, I mean, sorry, day four, I'm looking at the number two, right? Day four of my wonderful juice project, and, um, and it's New Year's Day. So, have a happy New Year, everybody. Take care, God bless, and happy juicing. Thank you.